Ivan, I just wanted to ask, um, there's been some talk back and forth about uh, some infamous sparring between yourself and Regis Progre. Can you let us know about that sparring and who got the better of that in the past? Hello, everyone. We had a great sparring sessions. And I, a couple of times, it was just a part of the training. And a couple of times, um, he, uh, you know what? I'm not sure, but probably I broke his nose on the one of the parting sessions. And uh, after that, we um, <laughs> were not staying. And I think in this fight, it's uh, you seem to be coming in with the underdog tag. Uh, do you feel that's a fair tag, or do you think you're being overlooked in this fight with Regis? Can you repeat the question? Yeah, sure. So coming into this fight with Regis, you seem to have the underdog tag from the fans, the boxing public. Uh, do you think that's a fair tag? Are you are you welcoming the underdog tag or do you feel you're being overlooked by the boxing public? Я уже был андердогом, и для меня это не сюрприз. Это было так же самое с Александром. Basically, they look at me like a piece of meat. So seems like same. Seems like this is the same right now. Sure, and uh, like, what would uh, I know? You have probably haven't been thinking about it, but what would a loss do for you at this stage in your career? Is is retirement potentially in your mindset if you were to come out of the losing end of this fight, Ivan? Он тебя спрашивает, что было правда, как он говорит, к примеру, когда ты вообще вот проиграл этот бой, что ты будешь делать дальше, потому что ты расслабишься в какой-то пенсионный момент. Я не проиграл, я, я приехал сюда за победой. Я приехал за победой. Моя команда приехала. So we'll see what's going to happen after April 17. And, uh, you know, I'm not looking forward to my retirement yet. All right, thanks very much. We have uh, Donna Corby with the next question. Donna? Hi, Ivan. Uh, can you hear me OK? Yes. Yeah. Uh, to ask basically the antithesis of the question you were just asked, what does a win here do for you? This is a massive stage, a huge pay-per-view event um, with a, a whole new audience watching. What does a win here do for, for Ivan Redcatch's career? That's going to be the, I'm going to open the door for the title fight. That's my goal. That's my target. What do you think about all of this celebrities coming into the world of boxing? We've got two or three of them on this card. Uh, what What is your opinion on the this crossover we've seen the last year or so? It's going to be a huge entertaining show. And um, honestly, Я очень рад, что трейлер мне дал такую возможность. Показать себя с лучшей стороны, как боксеры. And also, like, 
my job, my goal, like it's going to get attention of the young generation. And um, I think that's my job and the job of any like athlete or a fighter to show them that there is, uh, you know, the sport life, and how it's great and how it's going to be in shape. And it's just going to be like a good example for the young generation. Okay, thank you. Next, we have uh, Gabriel Gonzalez. Go ahead, Gabriel. Hello, Ivan. Can you hear me? Hello, yes. Uh, Ivan, uh, people are talking about that Jake Paul is bringing in this new audience and different fans. Have you felt that? Do you notice that different fans are reaching out to you and are interested in your fight this time? Заметил какую-то разницу между предыдущим боем, как это были фанаты, как это сейчас фанаты появились, связи связанные с тем, что именно Джек Пол будет. И я смотрел, я был на его боях, я видел, кто приходит. You know, I've, I've seen his fights, I attended uh, his um, last fight, uh, I've seen his audience, and um, Yes, you know what? I've noticed that actually on my Instagram, I have like more um, like young people, I would say, like teenagers. Фанаты любят его. You know, they love him. Actually, I respect him from the business perspective. I respect him a lot. Um, he knows how to sell it and he knows that they're going to buy it. And that's great. That's probably what the young generation need today. And yes, I do notice that I have some more... Um, I have a different fact right now. My final question, uh, obviously you're fighting earlier in the night. What message do you have for fans who may be thinking, oh, I don't know if I can get there early. What is your message to them to tune in to watch your fight before Jake Paul? Um, как, что бы ты им мог передать, какое бы сообщение ты мог им послать, чтобы они проснулись рано утром, посмотрели твой бой, бой с Джек Холлом, чтобы они Ребят, заведите, пожалуйста, будильники, right. свои телефоны, so свои часы, проснитесь, вы увидите это. Huge show. I'm very entertaining fight. It's going to be entertaining fight. It's going to be great. Promise. The crew will work hard. Each of us work hard. We had a long, like, you know, eight weeks camping for each, for organization production, for fighters. It's, um, it's going to be great. You're not going to regret it. You will enjoy the show. Great. Thank you, Gabriel. Now we have Joe Lee. Joe. Hi. I hope you're all right, mate. First question I have for you. I just wonder where you rank Regis Progre in comparison to the people you fought. You've obviously fought the likes of Danny Garcia, Tevin Farmer, Looking to the fight before it's happened, do you think he's the best fight you've ever fought? Как ты думаешь, какой оппонент сейчас прогресс? Это один из лучших предыдущих, которые у тебя были до этого? Я дрался с лучшими. You know, I've been fighting with, uh, I didn't want to say anything bad about progress, but let's be honest, I've had the, probably the better opponents. Я проиграл пять боев. You know, I lost only five fights. Из них четыре экс-чемпиона мира. And four, I lost to the former um, world champions. Он дрался с, с мешками, с мусором. You know, he's been fighting here. He's pretty much. И он попал один бой. Yeah, он проиграл. Yeah, twenty-five fights, only one loss. If you look at his resume, it looks perfect. But if you will take a look closely, you will notice that he's been fighting probably with like you know kittens. And the only person he lost was uh, Taylor, and the Taylor being fighting was really good fighters before. You know, compared to the other 24 fighters, like he's great, but you know, it's a good job. He wore a card of mine. Yeah, his resume looks good, but if you will take a close look, you will be a little disappointed. Okay. And if you were your opponent, would you say this is a good fight for him at the right time, or is this a bad fight, for, a bad time for him to be fighting you? Я не смотрю на его время. У меня есть своя команда, у меня свой лагерь был. 
for him, or to work for him, I totally don't care. You know, I have my team, I have myself, I have to, you know, care about my family and me, and uh, I have to care about my time. It's it's the right time for me. That's the most important. Thank you. Yeah, don't be so careful. I've been waiting for that like, type of life, like for a long, long time. Cheers, man. И такая возможность появилась, что я дерусь yeah, на пайвервью. Все боксеры мечтают об этом. And, uh, you know, like fighter, Мечты сбываются, and просто and надо you know, год right или десять. Thank you. Uh, Ivan, uh, I see you uh, rubbing your hands there. You look like you're very ready. You're itching to fight Regis Progre. Do you have a message you'd like to send him before you uh, get to see him next? Спасибо, что ты взял этот бой. И увидимся в субботу. Берегли.